fam. It is Amber and I am not eating this morning. I went ahead and made my coffee and put my collagen powder in it and I probably should have done that. I probably should have just fasted and not had anything at all. Um, but if I don't put it in my coffee in the morning, I don't remember to take it. And when I don't remember to take my collagen, my hair falls off out. Um, so I went ahead and took it. So anyways, running late this morning, just could not get motivated to get out the dang bed this morning. I like hit the snooze alarm, I think three times. So yeah, totally not motivated to do anything this morning on this lovely morning. But it is beautiful weather this morning. I wish I didn't have to go to work and I wish I could just go walk and stay home so I figure when I get to work I'm gonna walk to work I normally do I have to park a pretty good distance away from my job so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna walk this morning even though I'm running a little bit late I'm gonna take the time to do it and it's gonna feel good because it's 67 degrees here ladies I am oh uh, if it would stay this temperature year-round in Louisiana I would just be so grateful Y'all, my coworker was gonna throw these two pieces of bacon away. I had to save them. So I ate this right before lunch. Then for lunch, I had a half an avocado, a small salad with mushrooms, one cheese stick, and some of that leftover pulled pork from the other night with two tablespoons of the G. Hughes barbecue sauce. Amazing. sitting in the parking lot at Planet Fitness knowing that I need to go in. Not terrible when you drive all the way here and you know you're going to feel better when you leave but you just don't know why you're sitting here. <laughs> I guess let's go in and get this work on. So it was too busy to film but after my workout I drank this Grape Ultima Electrolyte enhancer it was pretty good i think i like the raspberry flavor better and then i'm heading home to see what hubby made for dinner omg y'all that is bread y'all see that but it's keto bread i came home and hubby you know, I was feeling sad yesterday, so he thought about me and realized that, you know, water burger patty melts was like my jam. Um, so tonight he's making kind of a knockoff one for me. And we're using this smart bread by Wyo or Wio, however you say that. It's white bread and it has one net carb per slice. Um, we got this from the people in Dallas, from the Sugarless Delight people, and I think I like it better than I liked the, what's that other brand? Is it the Great Lobe Carb or something like that? I think so. But I don't have it very often. But Hubby toasted mine and put me some Colby Jack cheese on it, made me some burgers, I'm going to put some mayonnaise on it. I even have the Whataburger Creamy Pepper Sauce. Looks like it's going to be two net carbs for two tablespoons. I'm probably not even going to use two tablespoons. He made me some mushrooms and onions. And Chef Bam, you are the best. Thank you. Are you a good chef? I try to be. <laughs> so yeah that is what is going down at our house tonight so seriously it was like having real bread i don't think it's something you could eat every day though he also made this amazing homemade ranch dressing out of the southern keto cookbook okay y'all i'm sitting out on the back porch because it's the quietest place in my house currently 
and then I'm sitting out here and I hear the crickets or some kind of bug that's making a hell of a lot of noise but anyways I guess it's quieter than the TV or my children right now so today was an okay day I went over on my calories again today I think I was at like 1600 calories and it mainly came from fat like um, I ate too much fat today I heard in 10 on fat and I was at I think 109 on protein so I think I met my protein goal or I was like one under one under yeah and the fat I don't know I just got to eating dinner we were eating um, we had ranch dip and pork rinds with dinner and I just got to eating and they're kind of like french fries you know once you stop start you can't stop yeah that's what happened so let's talk about what happened at work today so this lady a patient of mine I walk into her room and I introduce myself and I'm like oh my name's Amber and I'm here to do your echo and blah 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 and she looks at me and she's like oh honey are you pregnant and I'm like uh no um my baby is seven so anyways um I think I might have to get rid of a couple of my scrub tops because I have a couple that I have continually worn even though I know they're too big and this particular set of scrubs um, you know they have a pocket in the front that's like a kangaroo pouch and so I don't know I'll show y'all a picture As you can see it does look like a pouch and I do look pregnant and but you know nobody ever wants to hear are you pregnant when you're not pregnant and you sure to hell don't want to hear it when you're 44 pounds down in your ketogenic journey are you pregnant um no so that's probably why I overdid it with dinner because some people I guess when they got that question and would have got that news I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes y'all I'm sorry I'm not meaning to keep looking down and stuff but that's what's happening and darn mosquitoes in Louisiana but you know nobody wants to feel like that you should never ask a woman if she's pregnant even never just don't do it and so to ask me that I just I went overboard with dinner and just ate and ate and ate and ate till I was sick um, so over on the calories today but hey your girls going camping this weekend we are going to the Boy Scout Ranch and they have tree houses and this girl is excited now the only thing I'm not very excited about is what I need to pack for snacks because usually when I go camping we make bad decisions <laughs> <laughs> you know because you just snack you never eat like a big meal like you're just constantly snacking like you have to have s'mores and you have to have chips and you're just snacking 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 so y'all leave me some comments down below about what I can pack to go camping that's not gonna melt because it's gonna be 95 degrees and we are not staying indoors we're staying in tree houses so um so it's got to be able to go in the ice chest not be able to melt so what's your favorite snack food on keto let me know down below i really i need to run to the store tomorrow and pick up something i don't know if i'm gonna go pick up some lilies or what i'm gonna go pick up so y'all give me some ideas down below and hopefully this girl will be back on track tomorrow because Two days in a row I'm over my calories 
I'm still nowhere probably as high as I was before I went keto, but I don't, I never track, and so I've tracked for like the last three days, and it's been kind of depressing to see how bad it is, because I'm sure there's times when I wasn't tracking that it was way higher than I thought. So anyways, okay y'all, I'm going to check out, I'm going to go take a bath, Planet Fitness whooped my butt, my legs are hurting. I might have to go take me a little soak in the bath to soak these legs out. I gotta go pack my clothes to go camping. Because I haven't done that yet either. And like I said, y'all let me know about keto snacks. Is there anything? Is there some chocolate I can take? Or what can I take, y'all? I gotta have something. Me and Hubby have to have something. <laughs>